Why does transmission fluid need to be filtered if it's in a sealed unit? Well, the contamination comes from within. As shafts turn and clutches and bands engage, small metal and friction material pieces break off and become part of the transmission fluid. The filter removes these particles so they don't endlessly circulate inside the transmission, inflicting more damage. Let's get some filter basics out of the way. When an engineer or filter manufacturer uses the term filter efficiency, they are referring to the smallest particle the filter can capture. This might be followed by a percentage. For example, a filter manufacturer may say it's 95% efficient at capturing one micron or larger particles. The larger the particle, the higher the percentage typically. So that one micron filter might be able to capture a five micron particle 99% of the time. The next term used by engineers and filter manufacturers is capacity. This indicates how much of a given volume of contaminants by weight a filter can hold. The filter capacity is dependent on the size and surface area of the filter. The last term is pressure differential. This is the measure of the restriction caused by the filter. If a transmission filter is restrictive, the suction force on the filter side going to the pump will be higher than the side connected to the pickup and pan. Managing efficiency, capacity, and pressure differential is a balancing act. For example, you can have a very efficient filter to collect microscopic particles. Still, if it does not have the capacity to hold all those particles, it will cause a pressure differential that could starve the pump for fluid and reduce the line pressures. In the first module, we learned that the pump pulls fluid from the pan under suction through the filter before it is pressurized and sent to various components on the transmission. For the suction to happen, the filter cannot create a restriction. Modern transmissions, while well, they have a different strategy to tilt capacity, efficiency, and pressure differential in their favor. The first is a mesh screen in the pickup, or this will be a filter on the surface of the underside near the pan. The mesh will prevent the filter media from becoming blocked from the larger particles of debris. Some filters increase the surface area by having coarse and fine media in one filter. Some filters direct the fluid over the coarse filter only when the fluid is cold to prevent starving of the pump. This has been seen on some Allison transmissions. The pump needs protection from these contaminants. The surfaces of the rotor, housing, and veins can be damaged by the smallest particles. When the pump is worn, it will reach a point when it cannot generate enough line pressure to operate the transmission. Filters and screens can also be positioned after the pump on the cooler return line. If you are servicing a transmission, the location of the filters and replacement procedures are listed in the service information. Many transmissions will include a filter screen directly bolted to the pump or in critical areas of the valve body. Not servicing these screens and filters can lead to an unsuccessful repair. Some late model transmissions have adopted inline filters placed after the pump. The designs for these can resemble oil filters, either canister or cartridge. These can be seen on some heavy duty and CVT transmissions. Thank you.